Welcome to the news on July 18th. Let's get into it. Tokyo release testing preview is out. You should go check it out. Every six months this happens. And Tokyo has a lot of really interesting features. I went through all of the notes that are there right now. And I um, there's a couple things that stand out to me, which I will share on another video. But that doesn't stop other pe people from talking about them. ES12 scripts are available in scopes only, shared by Anders, and there was a lot of comments here. Frustration is a feeling that comes to my mind. It's a step in the right direction. I, I wish that it would be available for a global. This is adding all those like new ES6 features and other features to the service out of the ServiceNet platform. But a step in the right direction is still a step in the right direction. Lawrence Tyndall from Gladfast reminds us, if you need to view all the values from a record, show XML, that is a way to do that. And as much as I think everybody should know this, I bet there's somebody that doesn't. So if you're not aware of it, right click on a record setter and show XML to see all those details. New cohort slash bootcamp time. There are all these new people that are being sharing their their journey. You got well, it it you have families on the on LinkedIn coming from the skill bridge. You got Emily and Jeremy and Finger and Andre and Nathan and Micaiah and John and Christopher and Jordan and all those folks. And then on Twitter, you have all these my tech best friend folks. This lovely Liana, Zana Baby, and Gregory Badgett, and Glowy Days, so many of them. If you want to be inspired and follow them, feel free to reach out. There are so many more. All of links to how I look for them when I look to those platforms in the link below. Nathan Firth had an itch, and he had to make something, so he built snjobs.com. It aggregates a whole bunch of jobs from different places into one place and uh, I think it looks really nice and it's just the service now kinds of jobs so if you're looking for a job um, speaking of cohorts that just finished if you haven't found one feel free to, to use that or or reach out to folks that uh, that are social and they'll try to help I'm sure breakpoint had a new episode about what you need to know about the next experience. It's about using UI macros and pages, about their roadmap and where things are going. And then they talk specifically about when to use Service Portal instead of UI Builder, because there's some cases that UI Builder just doesn't handle well yet. So I wanna highlight that there. Brad had said, if you need a catalog, enterprise-wide portal, public portal, or responsive portal, you probably should still use the Service Portal. And I really appreciate that call up, Brad, because that tells me as a customer and other people when we should be building certain things and how long those things will be good for. Sal Costa, a long time ago, wrote a book about Jelly. And as much as folks hate on Jelly, it's not going away. If you want a resource that's well worth it, I have a link below for it. He recently reduced the price to pay what you want. So that includes zero. You can get it for free if you'd like, or you could toss them a few bucks. But um, it saved me in a, in a couple situations. So I, I think it's well worth it. Thank you, Sal, for creating that book. CJ and the Duke go into why they do what they do. And I always enjoy their episodes. It's great. But I learned some stuff. Like specifically how they need to give back and they want to meet with the new folks and other kinds of stuff like that. So give it a listen. I missed this video, the developer game that I mentioned last week, but thankfully they posted on YouTube so I can watch it on replay. So I'm sharing that it's out there and you can too. Alan Andreas posted 
one more video on his channel and it is very timely uh, and i think it very relative to all those new folks about what you can expect as a certified system administrator it's a great video good job alan justin meadows he's posting so much stuff i can't highlight any specific piece he has 18 new videos since last week do you sleep man come on he also built a website to post these things, which is justin.house. So if you're looking to have more Justin in your life, I guess you can just go to those places. And with that, that's the news. If I miss something or if you want to bring up something, please add a comment below and I'll see you next week.